per FINRA's uh, corporate action, or cor corporate action uh, right, that came out. Um, basically what that means is MMTLP is being deleted as a ticker uh, after the trading day on the 12th. So 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 what is going on, MetaFam? I am back. I had some time off, man. Uh, work's been really busy. Uh, like I said, July for me is a very busy time of my job. Uh, and as you know, yesterday was my birthday. So thank you to everyone that has uh, liked and retweeted my post about the birthday. I had a lot of people uh, private message me on Twitter, uh, a few people that I'm close with, uh, you know, email me, text me, thank you all for the birthday uh, wishes, truly appreciate it. Uh, back here to business, starting out here, day number 228 days since the MMTLP U3 halt, FINRAT just released the blue sheets. Now, I've seen some emails floating around from this TD Ameritrade Charles Schwab merger thing, and... There's apparently an email floating around about an interesting plan of truth. Someone mentioned that the TD Ameritrade Reddit email is real and that Charles Schwab intends on wiping away every $0 NextBridge placeholder once all accounts are merged. Could this lead to the end of Charles Schwab? This is interesting. Um, I've seen it. I've heard about it. I don't know if it's true. I don't use either of these brokerages. I use TradeStation and Fidelity. So comment down below if you use TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab. And can you confirm, have you got an email stating that? I would like to know. Uh, before we get uh, moving forward here, I want to give a shout out to Hollywood Henry. Um, this gentleman deserves um, a shout out and thanks to Busy for uh, Busy Brands for, uh, I don't know how I should just shout this man out. He needs to get a sh shout out. So uh, Hollywood Henry, guys, is doing great things here. And uh, he says, update on the phase two physical packet mailing campaigns. Thanks. To the community donations, we will send out the first 40 packets to the media, including Congressman Eli and Cray's letter to the SEC and a collage that displays frequency of MMTLP and the trending. And here is everything they got there. And guys, check this out at fairmarketsnow.org. Uh, highly, uh, Hollywood Henry, like I said, deserves to get this out there. So please go check him out here on fairmarketsnow.org. And the breaking news here today, I did put out a tweet. I was hoping to get some news, um, some positive news on my birthday. I didn't see anything come out yesterday. Uh, but there is news out today, and I, I guess it's good and bad. I really don't know. I guess time will tell. Uh, but Junk Savvy here says, breaking news. So Meta Materials, George Pilot Carriage, and John Berta were served at the Wells Notice. The Wells Notice each state that the SEC staff has made preliminary determination to recommend that the SEC file a civil enforcement action against the recipients alleging violations of certain provisions of the U.S. federal securities law. A well notice is neither a formal charge or wrongdoing, nor a final determination, that the recipient has violated any law. It allows the recipients the opportunity to address the issues raised by the enforcement staff before a decision is made by the SEC on whether to authorize any enforcement action. So, this here is the uh, legal document there. And that was a quick summary. Also, Rare DD uh, has here, here's a simplified version of the recent Metamaterials Wells Notice AK from Bard. And this is beautiful. So here you can see we got that there. And here is a nice breakdown. Uh, we're gonna cover this here. But before we get into covering that, I wanted to show this clip here that uh, Dr. Ed shared. That's right, one of my old clips, and it is pretty relevant to today. So, uh, seven months, tired of the BS, can't wait for dinner next month, pies on. Uh, let's not forget what was done to us. This video here was from a community member, uh, Henry, I believe it was Henry, and you can see this video here it was seven months ago. Uh, MMTLP next bridge fidelity admitted synthetic shares audio clip. So let's see if we can get the volume up on this and let's listen to this clip here we got. Synthetic shares. So we haven't received shares just yet from uh, next bridge hydrocarbons. So, so can, you, can you slow down? So I was right. I have synthetic shares, correct? Correct. I mean, I, I knew that. Guys. Guys, yeah, so right there, uh, Henry had them confirm Fidelity. 
We do not have shares yet. They are currently synthetic, and I believe they still are synthetic because they're just a placeholder number. Uh, there is some clips back in the old videos, man, and it would take a lot of time to go back. As you know, I cover everything big. It's on YouTube here somewhere. Uh, if my channel's up, it's on there. So anyone finds those kind of audio clips that we have, these are great things that we could put together and present this to congressmen and uh, get this out there to them. Um, but here we go. Let's go over this here real quick. Um, and thank you again to Rare DD. Sure, here is a simplified version of the SEC investigation. The SEC is investigating metamaterials of its two executives, John Berta and George Pelicaris, for possible violations of federal securities law. The investigation is looking into the merger between Torchlight Energy Resources and metamaterials. The SEC has sent well notices to the company and the two executives. A Wells notice is not a formal accusation of wrongdoing, but it does give the recipients the opportunity to address the issues raised by the SDC before the agency decides. Um, SDC before agency decides whether to take enforcement action. If the, SDC does, if the SDC does take enforcement action, it could seek injunction, civil monetary penalties, and other relief. It could also bar the individuals for serving as officers or directors of public companies. The company's board of directors is reviewing the Wells notice, but it has not yet determined the next course of action. In simpler terms, the SDC is looking into whether the company and its executives broke any laws when they merged Torchlight Energy Resources. The Wells notice gives the company and the executives a chance to explain their actions before the SEC decides whether to take any action. Here are some of the potential consequences consequences of the SEC investigation. The company could be fined or have to pay back money. The executives could be barred from serving as officers or directors of public companies. The company's stock price could go down. Uh, it says here, the company board of directors will need to decide how to respond to the well notice. They could choose to cooperate with the SEC, they could fight their allegations, or they could do something else. The outcome of the investigation is still uncertain. So uh, thank you again there. To Rarity E for uh, that's a quick simplified version of uh, exactly what's going on, and also our buddy Frank Nez here has an article out on it, uh, so you can go check him out at franknez.com. Has it right here SEC is now investigating Meta Materials former and current CEOs. And this was just published today, so you can go over all this information right here. Um, also, that information is out here on uh, Twitter as well. The actual form right here, you can get it off the Fintel, and boom, there you go. Uh, you can get it right off Junk Savvy's link right there. And I believe I have it also um, on my page here as well. You can read everything here if you want to go over it. So who is this by? Uzi Sassin, Chief Financial Officer. Um, that's the signatures there. So for Meta Materials. So, all right, guys, that is all I got for you in today's video. Hope you all enjoyed. Um, like I said, uh, birthday was yesterday. Life's been kind of crazy. Uh, I'll do my best to get some videos out. I know they, uh, there was some well stuff going on. Uh, C-Plant did a post about uh, Next Bridge having some well action going on. So that's kind of exciting. Uh, so we're going to see what happens, guys. Like I said, I, I believe it's going to be a battle. Is it going to be anytime soon? I have no freaking idea what's going to happen. But uh, I did see there was people talking. Maybe this Wells thing could lead down other avenues. Because now we're getting in talks and this all works out. Maybe they're investigating how the creation of MMTLP got started. That is the, the underlying issue here. Can we get the people that created it and let's get to go after them? Because they started all this, the people that created it. So time will tell. Hopes are up. Um, I'm still positive. I'm, I'm not worried. You know, it is what it is. So... That is all I got for you in today's video. If you enjoyed, please smash thumbs up, drop a comment down below. Check out that Timu as well. Use that link and download. Get free shipping, get promo stuff, man. Uh, it's an awesome app. Love it. Catch y'all on the next one, guys. Peace.